first things first, we need to find a place to eat, and I'm thinking ramen is a good place to start. It was originally a Chinese food. It's called la mian. So it's a good mixture since you got Chinese people in Tokyo. It's kind of funny, we live like in the red light district or just above it. So every time we come into the main part of the city, we always have to walk through that first. Wow. So this is how you order right here is the different kinds you can get. So maybe we'll get a woodier ramen, seaweed and spring onion, roasted pork leg. Oh man, maybe we should just get all of them. <laughs> hey, we're in like a classic ramen shop and they put us on the second floor. So we like have the whole thing to ourselves right now. Ramen is my favorite Japanese food. It is like, really good. <laughs> There's a movie called Tampopo, which is all about ramen and the right way to eat it. And apparently you're supposed to like, delicately tap the meat and then savor the flavors. Just sip the soup a little bit. <laughs> We just had the best ramen I think I've ever had in my life. <laughs> but I'm also super hungry right now. Look at that. I'm gonna drop left, son. <laughs> That was fantastic, man. Oh my God. Feel good with some food. Any new thoughts about Japan that come to mind today? No, I'll, I'll talk later tonight. <laughs> this is vlogging. Oh, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> These two are just so entertaining to be with. <laughs> so this is the Imperial Palace. And I guess this is like the front entrance or something. I don't know exactly what all this empty parking lot space is for. But it almost looks uh, kind of Chinese. Like this looks like Tiananmen Square or like the front of the Forbidden City. It's pretty cool though. It's like this lawn is all manicured. Got these trees right here. Spruce maybe. I'll have Andrew figure out what that is. And then so back there is the whole business district that we just walked through. Wow, this feels so much different than Shinjuku. Shinjuku, where we've been at, just like lots of restaurants, lots of liveliness. This is like business. Like government business, sterile, let's get things done in a very bureaucratic manner. <laughs> it has a very like kind of austere zen feel to it. 
especially with these trees. Do you know what type of trees these are? No, I wish I did. Some sort of pine tree, obviously. Yeah, they got pine cones on there. It's also crazy how open this is compared to where we've been at. Just like super tight cramped spaces and now we're just like in this big field. That's great. Oh, they're manicuring the trees over there. So this is a Japanese style toilet. Andrew, demonstrate the proper form for using a Japanese style toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's the poop come out. Nice and easy. <laughs> I actually still don't think the squatting toilet is the best form of toilet. Because in Bangladesh, I had diarrhea all the time and all they had were squatting toilets. So I had to like really rigorously exercise my thighs and like hold on to this piece of string to keep myself from falling in. There's a point of pride that Chinese people have, and by Chinese people I mean at least my dad is that they can squat like this with both feet flat on the ground. One of the first things we saw coming into Japan was a guy squatting like that. It's really hard because you fall back like that. <laughs> and if you squat like this, you get really tired. So you're supposed to be able to do it like this, but it's really hard. <laughs> the Imperial Palace is closed on Monday and Friday. So we're gonna go to Ameyoko, which is an open air market. Not really too sure what's there, but we're just gonna explore and see what we can find and I don't think we can take this station. <laughs> We're gonna move. No, I was just, it's kind of cool to run through here. We're just running through the station here. This is kind of interesting. Certain cars are only for women. So like if you look at the ground here, says women only so Why I don't know I think it's like you know because there's they've got some sexual harassment problems sometimes um, I don't know if that's all the time if it's like just weekdays when it's really crowded maybe let's go take a look so it's usually I think only on weekdays when it's really crowded but um <clears throat> like some sort of a wetland and there's all these stalks with these weird uh, seeds coming out of them. If you get a closer look they almost look like, I don't know, honeycombs or like beehives. And those are lotus seed pods and inside there's little lotus seeds that you can eat. And there's actually something, like you can actually eat the pod too and we actually had some in our salads the other day and I'm sure we'll have some tonight too. It's really good, really starchy. Andrew's gonna show me the lotus pods. Now I have trypophobia where it's, oh god! Look, I'm not even like joking. It's just as soon as I saw it, oh. It's like makes my hair stand up, man. And my skin wanna crawl out of my face. It's really cool how you can just walk through these alleys and stuff. And we keep finding all of the red light districts. It's just nothing but shows of naked ladies, apparently. So during this guide book right here, you know, it's like a special coffee with butter in it, which is like, that's my style. <laughs> right now we're in this specialty coffee shop. It's what's known as the third wave coffee shop. This guy's been doing it since 1977 in Kobe. And we've got very elaborately made coffee in royal cups. We've got cake that's handmade by him using 50% cream, which apparently is a higher percentage cream than you can get at most places. And man, I'm so ready to eat this. This is going to be great. <laughs> After that barista master gave us that coffee and the cake and stuff, we're walking around Ameyoko now. This place is like a shopping district or something. So let's try 
Wasabi's. Wasabi Pia. Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh, so this is um the ray fin that we have. Ray, oh yeah. Here we've got some dried squid. Oh. Hey guys, you need some table syrup from Canada? <laughs> I, don't, I feel like we're not gonna be there for a <laughs> One time my dad bought a bunch of dried squids like that and like we had no idea how to cook it so we just roasted it over the fire and it was like really chewy. <laughs> Look how big Wow, it's so red. Oh, man. What if you could just stick Look, that on your face? It's a whole crab right there. Oh, wow. I've heard that, like, it's a complete art to make a broth using seaweed like this. I don't know if you know anything about it, but I saw an Iron Chef where this guy, was, his specialty was making broth out of seaweed. That's seaweed? Yeah. Is it dried or something? Yeah. Oh, these are ginkgo seeds from the ginkgo tree, and like when they fall, they have this fleshy layer around them. It's not technically a fruit, but they stink really bad. And then this dried scallop is like super expensive. Well, they've got tea here. Yeah, you try it? Yeah, let's see if we can try it. What is it? Green tea, really baby. Mm, yeah. So flavorful. Yeah. You can really taste like the plant. You know, that mushroom green tea flavor. <laughs> She was not speaking Japanese. I think that was Chinese, actually. What are those? Those are conks. I've actually had those in China, and you pull out the meat with a toothpick, and it's actually like spiral shaped inside. <laughs> it's oh, really wow. good. Good with vinegar. I just realized the train is right above us, right there. That is really cool. This is a type of like market that you could like get lost in. Yeah. And like it's almost like you can have dreams about getting lost in a place like this. Yotiao. That's Yotiao. It's a Chinese food. Uh, it literally means oil stick, but it's like a deep fried breadstick. And uh, a lot of times we eat it with uh, like soy. Oh, check this out. This is. <laughs> well, that's Huajuan. Yeah, this is Huajuan. This is what we're talking about in our Yellowstone episode. Uh, we said the bison poop looks like it because it's all coiled. Look down here. Uh, there's some chicken hearts and uh, chicken feet. Those are like my favorite parts. <laughs> a lot of times I like to introduce my friends who have never had that before by telling them <laughs> that these are chicken fingers. <laughs> and when they bring it out... <laughs> They're like, it's chicken finger. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't give up. You don't want to try the kebab? Uh, if you don't like it, don't pay money, no problem. <laughs> you try one, really, I'm sure you like it. No, I'm, I'm sure it's good. We'll be back. Sure we'll be back, actually. We gotta, okay. We gotta look at it. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Andrew, I'm gonna bite it. Alright. I'm gonna bite it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You want me to try? Mm -hmm. So this is mochi, which is like rice. Uh, what's it called? Chewy, sticky rice? Glutinous. Mm -hmm. Glutinous rice mm -hmm. with red bean paste. Mochi is one of my favorite desserts, Japanese or otherwise. Delicious. Authentic. Mochi is just glutinous rice that they pound over and over and over oh, yeah. until it becomes that paste. And I've actually like given it to some people who are American and it's a very, it's apparently an acquired texture. <laughs> really? Yeah, because like a lot of people I don't know, I gave it to them and they were like, uh, it was interesting. Like, <laughs> Man, when I eat mochi, it's like, I can't stop. I like eat oh, yeah. one, I'm like, oh god, I need another. I need another. <laughs> wow. This night market is awesome, dude. Look at this. Is that pickle? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's got vinegar in it, so it's like putting vinegar. So it is kind of pickled. Sashimi. Oh, raw. So the whole guy is the best. So you eat it raw? Yeah, you eat it raw. Straight raw. That's really <laughs> It's for New Year's. Oh, for New Year's. The sign's upside down. <laughs> See, 
even this, like, I don't know who made this, but I would not be surprised if this was like a Japanese take on like Native American dolls and stuff. Oh, here you go. Okay, next goal is to find a good place to eat that's not too expensive <clears throat> and has some beer that is also hopefully not too expensive. I'm thinking we should be able to find something because this place has so many restaurants. This has 190 yen beers, so... <laughs> so these are draft beers and that's like this is like the most popular drink if you're drinking like beer in Japan. and um one thing i really like is that they serve it super cold this is actually andrew's book no i'm just kidding <laughs> so your friend was telling us the other day that they love the head of foam so they always make that go straight up Makes it easier to pour, I guess. Nice and crisp. <laughs> Actually, personally, I like the foam. It kind of makes it feel like a uh, float. Like mm -hmm. a beer float or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you guys not dip it in? Wow, this is the whole thing. Did you guys not dip it in the mayonnaise? The mayonnaise is actually a fairly popular condiment in Japan. Like lots of people will just eat it by the... I mean, I don't know if they actually do, but they say that they'd eat it by the spoonful if they could. Mm. <laughs> None of this animal goes to waste. <laughs> the place that we chose to eat was excellent. We had rice balls, fish, fried fish, fried oysters, sashimi, which is raw. Uh, horse mac heart. Horse mackerel, heart, liver, skin, uh, chicken, chicken, pizza, some pizza with some type of fish roe on there. Good stuff. So the total was 5,993 yen, which is uh, just under $60. It's so like maybe $55. It's not bad for three people, a couple beers. Four beers. The coffee shop today, that was the biggest workout my Japanese has gotten like in my life <laughs> because he was talking so fast and like nonstop the entire time. I was just like, oh man, focus, focus, focus. <laughs> Could I interest you in any Super Mario Maker 3DS? <laughs> right, right. It might be him. <laughs> <laughs> So in Chinese, Bing means like uh, bread, sort of. It's like type of breadish thing. So this homie Bing is like homie bread. <laughs> I wonder if that's Korean or something. Not sure. This car looked like it just fell into a sinkhole. Okay, so what do you think that this is? Do you rent these girls? 